What's up guys, my name is Ticknobo here for Troubleshoot and today we've got a very interesting and useful video for you, especially if you don't have something like this already set up. So I'll go ahead and open up OBS. As you can see, I'm talking and it's coming in on the bottom input over here. Then I have desktop audio one and two. If you're like me and you've recorded videos before, then you probably understand that having separate audio tracks is very important for editing. What does that mean? Well, when you get into editing, you can separate your voice from your game sound, turn one or the other up depending on what is more important. There's probably been countless times where you've recorded a game, the game is far too loud, or you're too loud and you can't hear the game and there's absolutely nothing you can do to fix it, because it's all on one audio track. However, here when you have more than one audio track, you can go ahead and adjust the volume of each of these individually while recording them, by dragging these sliders, or while editing them by turning them up and down individually in your software of choice. So I've gone ahead and taken that to the next level and this is how I've been doing it for about the past few years. So currently my audio device that I have my headphones plugged into has two outputs that play through the same set of headphones. However, I'll show you how to do this for free without any extra hardware using virtual audio cable at the end. But before we get there, I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what is happening. So over here, I simply have PewDiePie's latest video. And if I go ahead and play it, you can see that it plays into my desktop audio over here and opening up a Discord over here. If I go ahead and tell the music bot to play this video, then you'll see that he plays into desktop audio too. So what exactly does this mean? Well, when I have two things going, as you can see here, this is basically how it would be. I would have my desktop audio being the game sound, desktop audio 2 being the Discord voice chat with all my friends in it, and mic slash aux being my microphone. So I record into three tracks. That means that later on I can go ahead and remove game sound or make it louder, softer, remove people talking in Discord, louder, softer, or remove myself from talking, make it louder or softer. It gives me a ton of working space for basically no hard disk cost or anything like that. It's incredibly useful. That being said, I have an audience ID 14 interface, which basically has my microphone coming in over here, door one and door two, and these are the two separate audio tracks. The videos one is over here, and the Discord sound oh, sorry. is over here. Now, of course, not everyone has access to an expensive piece of hardware, so I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this for free. So first of all, you'll need a piece of software called Virtual Audio Cable. Head across to vb-audio.com slash cable with a capital C, and you'll see a page somewhat similar to this. The first one is free, and then you can buy an auxiliary A, B, and C and D audio inputs as well. Basically, that means that you can have one virtual cable, two, three, four, or five, but having a second to a fifth one, you'll have to pay for. If you just want one audio cable, it's completely free with absolutely no limitations, no sound effects that play saying trial or anything like that. I had a piece of software that did that for a stage. However, this is the one that we're going to be downloading. VB Cable Driver Pack 43.zip. Simply click the big download button next to it, and it'll download a file like this. Then I'll make a new folder on my desktop, call it whatever, and I'll extract the contents of the zip that we downloaded into the folder. Then all you need to do is either run setup64 if you're on a 64-bit PC, or setup up here if you're on a 32-bit PC. Switching across to my virtual machine so I can show you me installing this, basically just run the setup that matches your PC. And if you see an error like this, simply hit OK. A web page will open, simply close it. Right click on the EXE again and hit run as admin. Then you can click install driver, press install, and then hit OK. And it says you can restart your PC. You don't have to, but it is recommended. So once we have virtual audio cable installed, we could go ahead and delete the zip that we downloaded as well as the file here. Heading back to my main PC, if you right click on the sound icon in your start bar, go to open sound settings, then go to sound control panel, you should see a window similar to this. So this is a bit confusing because I have not only A, B, but also the one that will install on your computer over here with the white background. A and B I've paid for, and you can of course buy C and D if you'd like an extra too. However, I utilize all three of these, but you've just installed this free one over here. So cable input, if we head across to recording, you'll see cable output over here. So how exactly does this work? Well, if you go to playback, and you were to play a sound into one of these outputs using VLC or Discord or something, it'll be routed from here back to an input device on this side. So cable input would be a speaker, hypothetically, and cable output would be a microphone, hypothetically. I can then go ahead and select cable output, 
as a microphone inside of Discord or something similar along those lines. As you can see what I'm talking here in input one two, which is my normal microphone, it's coming through over here as well. Why exactly is this? Because in input one two, my microphone, I've right clicked properties. I've gone to listen, check that and told it to play everything that I'm currently saying into cable A input. What exactly happens then? Well, as soon as I talk, it'll come back into cable A over here and I can use this as an input in Discord, etc, etc. Why exactly did I need to do that? Well, that's because my microphone is in stereo, and if I were to talk using just my input, you'd only hear me in your left ear. That's of course fine if I'm recording, I can fix that in Premiere Pro, and a lot of programs recognize mono as well as stereo. However, programs like Discord, I would only be talking to my friends in their left ears. So I've basically told it to come out of my input over here, and I'm listening to it on this cable output and then it's coming back in over here. Then inside of properties, advanced, I've set it to one channel, which is mono, and then the matching hertz and bitrate. Anyways, long explanation aside, I've basically got it coming from my microphone out into the speaker, quote unquote, and then back into this digital microphone that I can use in pieces of software. So with that long explanation out of the way, how exactly do we utilize that power inside of something like OBS or Discord? Well, heading into Discord, I'll head to the settings in the bottom left, Go to voice and video, and then here you can choose input device as well as an output device. So of course, if you've only downloaded the free one, you'll only have access to cable input, cable output. You won't have access to cable A or B. You can only have one extra device. So what does that mean? Well, you can choose either to separate your game sound from you speaking and your game itself, or you can choose a different combination. However, one should be enough if you wanna separate game sound from Discord sound to your sound. If I go into here, inside of Discord, I'll go to output device and set that to cable input. That means that it gets played into here, the one with the white background, and it'll come back into my PC over here as a microphone. Once I've selected that, inside of OBS, I can go into settings, followed by audio, and I can go ahead and add extra devices. So here I've got output one, two, three, four, and input one, two. What you would basically have is you'd have your desktop audio set to your headphones, whatever they are, or your speakers, Desktop audio 2, you'd set to what we just separated the Discord as, so cable input, and your microphone would be your microphone. Then hit OK, and then you'll notice that people talking in Discord, you won't be able to hear. However, OBS and other programs will pick them up. How exactly do you go about hearing people talking inside of this virtual speaker and virtual microphone linked combo? Well, simply head across to the recording tab, right click on cable output, properties, listen, Make sure to check and listen to this device and choose your headphones over here. After hitting OK, you'll be able to hear Discord with a really, really tiny delay of a couple of milliseconds. Once that's done, you should have three inputs into something like OBS. The bottom one will be your microphone, the second one will be Discord sound, and the first one will be game sound plus Discord sound. Why is that? Because we've got our Discord sound going out into this virtual speaker, where it's completely silent for us, and it's just our game sound coming through. Then we're saying to listen to this virtual audio cable, so that it comes through the first one as well. So your Discord audio or whatever audio will come through two inputs into your final recording. This gives you the extra leg room to make Discord sound much louder if you make sure to sync these basically perfectly. What does that mean? Well, as you're playing a game, if it gets really loud all of a sudden and someone whispers something, you can take this Discord audio track, make sure it's synced up, and you can pump up the volume so that someone can hear the whispering over your game sound. However, you can't go ahead and remove the Discord sound from your final recording because that's being recorded alongside your game audio as well. Very confusing. That's one of the limitations of having only one virtual audio cable. If you were to go ahead and buy the AB pack, which I think is like $10 or something, you could go ahead and say that cable A will be your default for system sound. So all of your game audio, etc., etc., will go in there. And you can set cable B to your Discord sound. What does that mean? Well, you have two virtual outputs one for your game and everything else, one for your Discord and everything else, and then you have your microphone coming through as well. So you'd have your game sound in the top one, Discord sound in the second one, and your microphone in the third. Everything would be perfectly separated as it is for me. Then of course, all you do is head across to recording, and then for both virtual audio cable A and B, 
you'd right click properties, listen, check that and get it to play through your headphones. Then you've successfully split not only the game sound, your microphone sound, but also your discord sound as well, or whatever the program you're using. That gives you a ton of extra moving space inside of your editing software, and it'll make your life a ton easier. Of course, if you have the ability to get yourself an Audient ID14 or something similar where it has multiple audio outputs, then this would be a hell of a lot easier without all of these extra steps if you just had multiple outputs going to the same set of headphones. However, that's not exactly possible for everyone. And if you want to go the much cheaper route, then getting yourself a copy of VB Cable is probably the best way currently. That being said, you might be confused with a delay and audio delay, but if anything, it'll be very tiny. If you play beat or rhythm centric games where hearing is very crucial to seeing at the exact same time, then it may cause a slight issue if there's a tiny bit of delay. Of course, you can either get used to that or inside of your game itself, you can adjust the delay there. Anyways, that's about it. That's the limitations, exactly what you can do with it and the power of it. My name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video was informative. It took me quite a while to make and I really hope that my ramblings were understandable. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.